Yes, so welcome everyone to the uh, technical training session. So today we will discuss about Wakwi uh, to the IBM cloud connection. So uh, I've already prepared the, prepared the video of uh, how to create your IBM cloud creation. So you can just go through the previous videos. So this video, we will just see the connection between Wakwi and the IBM cloud, okay? So here we have al I have already written uh, the Wakwi code, okay? So in the first, we have like hash include uh, the libraries for Wi-Fi.h, pops, uh, pops up client, dht, uh, .h, okay? This is for temperature sensor library, okay? So all these things we have in library manager. So you can see here, already we have installed all these libraries. So you people also should install these libraries, okay? And add this uh, libraries. Then we have define. So we are just defining the pin 15 for DHT pin. Then DHT type is 22 and LED pin is second. So as per the connections, we just connected here the ground pin and uh, the LED pin to the resistor, then resistor to the here D2, okay? Then again, here you have VCC pin, which we have connected to the 3.3 volts. Then we have HDA pin, which we have connected to the D15 and then the ground pin to ground pin. Okay, the same things, whatever we define here, we have done the connections. And to change the resistance value, you can uh, just go to this diagram.json. So here, if you just scroll down, you have the value here, 100, okay? The walkway resistor value is 100 here. So same value, uh, you can take it up from here. If you change the value, the color of the resistor will also change, okay? So now uh, here you have DHT uh, for sending it to the library, which pin and which type. So whatever pin number and type you have defined DHT 22, it will just take it here and it will send to the library. Then void callback, okay? So the callback function and everything we have written down. Okay, I'll just explain that in the next uh, step of lines. Then we have org. So this organization ID, you will get it, if it is from the IBM, okay? So I'll also show you once I've created the device. So how you will get the organization device type, device ID, token. Okay. So only these things you have to change guys. Okay. So then string data three and float is H comma T. Then car server. Okay. Org. So here we are just giving the organization and other details. So publish topic, subscribe topic links. Okay. And auth method and author is a token is like, uh, the type and client ID, all these details we are providing. So don't change any details here. So it will be same. Okay. Then Wi-Fi client, Wi-Fi dot client again, pops up client. We are just giving the server details and everything to the uh, functions we have written below. So as we discussed in the training session, so this is void setup and void loop. Void setup runs only for the one time. Void loop runs for multiple times. So in the void setup, you have seen serial dot begin 115200 is a baud rate and DHT begin. So sensor also gets started and pin mode LED is output. So we are defining the pin mode here is our output. Then delay is 10. So 10 microseconds, sorry, 10 milliseconds, it will wait. Then serial dot print LN, Wi-Fi connect, MQTT connect, right? So MQ, Wi-Fi connect and MQTT connect, you, you will find the uh, it below. So yes, you have your MQTT connect. If not connected, not client, not connected. Okay. It will just say uh, reconnecting. Okay. Then it will just try to reconnect. If it is successfully connected, then done. Okay. Then Wi-Fi connect is also same. It will try to connect to the Wi-Fi of uh, what we guessed. So already you're doing it online. So don't worry about the connection of Wi-Fi. So username and password, it's like similar. So all the, it will connect directly. Okay. So Wi-Fi is connected. It will show the IP address and something like that. Then initiate ma manage devices. So here already we are talking about in the, uh, talking about the function in MQTT connect. So the same function we are calling here. So it will just say subscribe command okay or subscribe command false, okay? So in the top we have seen the callback. So this is for uh, you to get the data, okay? For LED from uh, your IBM cloud or from MIT app inventor, whenever you send back the data to the, the walkway. So here is where you'll get the data and uh, you'll get the, topic which is connected subscribe topic that is from cmd okay command and that i have written on the top okay so for in uh, int like i equal to zero i less than payload length i plus plus so data three plus car payload okay i so here we are just 
taking all the payload values, characters, whatever we are getting and just storing it in data three. Okay. So serial dot printl and data is to data three. You're just adding on all the uh, letters, cars, whatever you're getting. Okay. Then in the, then after that, if data three equal to light on. Okay. So whenever the light on is equal to this, then the light on will be printed and it will just on the LED. Else it will just off the LED. Okay. So if you can write more commands also, or like you can compare with other strings also. Okay. So this is uh, MQTT connect, Wi-Fi connect. So yeah, we'll come to this loop. Yeah. So here you can see void loop. Okay. So H equal to DHT dot read humidity. The humidity value will just store it in H. Then temperature value just store in T. Then serial dot print temperature. Okay. So and so value humidity in H. Then publish data T comma H. Okay. Then if uh, not equal to client dot loop. Okay. My MQTT connect. So this data also you can just see. Right. So publish data T comma H. It is just printing from the top and just going to the publish data. So you can see the published data uh, void. You have right. You have, we have written the function here, and in the loop, like if not, it is connected. It'll just again go to the MQTT connect and just connect back and come back to the loop. Okay. So here in the void uh, published data temp uh, humidity is there. MQTT connect. Okay. String payload and slash temp. Okay. Here it will just add the temperature humidity plus humidity. Okay. It will just concatenate. The payload completely with temperature value and humidity value and send it like a payload okay complete payload it will just send if it is published properly it will just okay or it will just publish fail okay so this is how the temperature value is uploaded to the ibm cloud and this complete code and connections i'll just put it in the uh, description below the link okay so if you just click the share option i'll get the link here okay this link i'll just copy and paste it in the the description here you can just go through all this code and everything from here itself okay yes so now once you complete this code and done, done with the connections so now uh, you can just go to your ibm cloud okay so here uh, as i said i've already explained in the previous videos how to install uh, your uh, uh, this devices and everything like browse devices how to come till this page everything, all the steps were, were informed before only, right? Already a device is added here, but I'll just say you another with another device so that you people will get clarity, okay? So please click on add device on the top here, okay? So there is device type, just give any device type, okay? I'm giving A, B, C, D, okay? You can just type uh, any device type or you can type it or just select if you already have, okay? I'm just giving one, two, three, four, five, okay? My device ID is one, two, three, four, five. I'm just clicking next here. So device information, I don't, it, as it is not a hardware, real hardware, I don't have all these informations and it is not mandatory. So I'm just clicking on next. So here the authentication token is there. It can auto generate or self provide. So you should have between eight to 36 characters. You have to give your authentication token. So you may forget in the future and this authentication token will not be visible again once you create the device. Okay. So that's the reason we'll also store that data in the notepad. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So for me to just remember it easily, I'll just keep every time one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And just click next. So that said, the summary, all the details are created, then click on finish. So once you click on finish here, your device is created. Okay. And this particular information you have to copy paste in your notepad. Just copy these details, open a notepad and just paste it there. Okay. The authentication tokens are non-recoverable. So the token, whatever you have put here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this, you can't get it again. If you give another token or you generated other one, then please note it down somewhere so that it will be helpful. So now you have organization ID here, right? You can just copy this organization ID, go to your walkway and just paste it here in the uh, org. Okay. And you have device type. So my device type is there already. So I put the same. Then here, my device ID is one, two, three, four, five. So here one, two, three, four is there. I'll just put five. Okay. Then token one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. All these details are given. So now I have the device ready here. Right. And uh, yeah, so here there is no recent values and everything also. I'll just click on back. Yes. So my device is this one, not this one, right? It is disconnected now. So I'll just go to walk. We just click on the run button, start simulation. Okay. So once I just click on the start simulation, 
the WACV code will be running. So let it load. So once it is loaded, it will start running. So you can see here connecting to Wi-Fi then yeah, you can see temperature is 66.90, 90.50. So you can just click on the temperature sensor. You can just vary the values even, right? Minus, minus 21.2 to 33, okay? Now this values will get to the IBM cloud. So just go to your IBM cloud. You can see that the 1234 is not connected, but 12345 is connected, right? Just click on connect, okay? Here you have recent events. Just go to recent events. So here the data will be loaded. So currently the values is minus 21.20 and 33, right? If you come back, so yes, you can see minus 21.2 to 33. So in this way, you can get all the sensor data and everything, whatever you want. So to the IBM cloud from Wacky. So you can add n number of sensors and many sensors are there, different type of sensors you can use. So 45 to 88%. So if you go here, you can see 45.7 to 88, right? Humidity and percentage, all, all the things are already there here, okay? So you can just uh, do in that way. And if you don't find any sensors here also, just use your Python code or you can just use a random function and generate those details and send it, okay? So this is how you can connect your Wacky to IBM Cloud. So next video, I'll also be showing you how to connect your IBM Cloud to MIT App Inventor. Okay, thank you.